Google is a remarkable company. I respect them on two levels. On one level, I respect their ability to explode into the giant they are today, but on another level, I respect them for what they've done for the world. They've made all our lives just a little bit better, in more ways than you realize. Their business is operated in a way that benefits all parties in ways that wouldn't even be possible without the structure that Google has set in place. I think I've spoken in vague sentences for long enough, so let's get to it. Google was started by two PhD students at Stanford University in 1998. The company has since expanded into many other areas, but in the beginning it was exactly what we most know it as today, a search engine. The two initially called it Backrub. You could tell they weren't marketing majors. The name quickly became Google. Where they get the name from is a Google is a number, it's a 1 followed by 100 zeros. It's spelled differently, but that's the origin of the name. It's their clever way of saying that you're going to get a ton of search results when you use it. There were a few other search engines around at the time, the biggest of which was Yahoo. But it only took 5 years for Google to surpass Yahoo and every other competitor. By 2003, almost 40% of all people searching for things on the internet would go to Google. It was right about this time when people stopped searching for things and started googling things. So why did Google surpass everyone so quickly? Simply put, people were happier with the results they were getting with Google. If you want to know how search engines work, you're in the wrong video because it's complicated and I have no idea. But from what I can gather, other search engines at the time would scan pages for words you typed in, and the top results would be pages where those words appear most often which would sometimes produce strange results. Google had a more sophisticated system that determined how relevant the results were, which would more commonly display things that people wanted. Their market share has grown steadily since the beginning, but in 2009 Microsoft launched a direct competitor called Bing. It was heavily advertised during its launch, and had many people convinced that it may be better than Google. But it's yet to grow anywhere near Google's status. In my opinion, the biggest mistake Microsoft made was naming it after Chandler's last name. Okay, it wasn't exactly named after him. It was actually named after nothing. Just something that tested well and is easy to remember. It's supposed to represent the sound of discovery, but come on. However, some people have switched to Bing. It's currently the second most popular search engine, but it's a distant second. The reality is that Google was already so perfected and polished, not to mention recognized, that it's hard for a new search engine to get to that level in a short period of time. So Google has a tremendous search engine on their hands, but how do they make money from that? We don't pay them any money to use it. If they did charge a subscription or per use fee, we would all switch right over to Bing or Yahoo and the company would crumble. So they're forced to generate their revenue through advertising. And to me, this is the true genius of Google's business model. Here's a look at Google's revenue over the past five years. We can take two things from this. One is that Google has been growing like crazy, almost doubling in revenue over this period. But the other thing we can take from it is that Google generates typically around 90% of their revenue from advertising. And this surprised me. Here's what separates them from other companies, the way they generate it. There's two separate parts to this system. Google calls them AdWords and AdSense. AdWords is the bigger one. I'll explain it through an example. Pretend I had a small but promising YouTube channel called Company Man, and I want to get the word out about it. I could go through the traditional mediums like TV commercials, magazines, maybe a billboard, but that's a little pricey, and most of the people seeing my advertisement could care less about a YouTube channel centered around popular companies and business concepts. I may want to go through Google's AdWords instead. Have you ever seen these little sponsored results when you search for something? That's what this is. Some of you may not have even realized those were paid for. That's part of the genius of the system. So at this point, I place a bid. When someone searches the words business YouTube channel, I want my channel to come up. But there may be others that want their channel to appear with those terms. We would have to bid against each other, and basically the highest bidder wins. You know, an auction. So let's take a look at the parties involved in my scenario. One of them is Google who is benefiting through obvious means. The second party is me and my channel, who are benefiting in that I'm paying for advertisements that aren't going to the general population, but to people who are much more likely to be interested in my channel. And the third party is the person viewing the advertisement, 
who is seeing an ad for something they're interested in. When they typed in those terms, they were probably looking for something like my channel. Most ads we see on TV, we don't want to see, but most of these we do. And if you don't, just scroll past. The inconvenience is so minimal that many people didn't even realize they just saw an ad at all. This is advertising at its finest. It's bringing together the seller and the customer in a way that's easy and helpful to both ends, all while pocketing a healthy profit themselves. The other part of Google's advertising is AdSense, which is a little more sketchy, but still great. This is what's used on many sites, including YouTube. When Google acquired YouTube, it was a perfect match. There were many eyes on YouTube videos, but it was hard to make money from it. Ads needed to be placed around these videos to make them profitable, and Google had the perfect system for it. They're essentially the middleman between the content creators and the advertisers. And when working perfectly, the ads are placed around the appropriate videos. This was essentially the problem that brought on the ad apocalypse and the ad boycott that you hear every YouTuber complaining about. I'm not going to be one of those YouTubers. If you want to learn more about the topic, there's hundreds of videos out there, and I recommend you watch one of them. But now with Google's AdSense, YouTubers could make money, and advertisers can have their ads shown. Hopefully on the appropriate videos. It's a fantastic system, and when it's working properly, again it benefits all parties. The Google benefit is obvious once again. The creator can make money, as long as he gets the views. The viewer benefits because the creator has to get views to make money, meaning they're gonna try to put out good content. If you're at all familiar with what YouTube was before Google took over, and the majority of videos that were on here, I think you realize the positive impact these ads have had on the content. And as a viewer, the price you pay for all this is a short ad before the videos. It's a little inconvenient at times, but appreciate all the good that's come from this system. And by watching that 5 second timer tick down, you're helping it all function. So there it is. Google makes a ton of money and does it in a way that helps everybody. They are one of the few companies that I would say have changed the world. The average person may disagree with that statement and say that all they did was make it a little easier to search for things on the internet. But we know that they've done so much more than that. They've revolutionized advertising as we know it. Most people view ads as a necessary evil, but Google has found ways to take the evil part out of it. And there's a whole portion of Google that I didn't even mention. Gmail, Google Maps, Google Earth, and a ton of cell phone related stuff. But when it comes down to it, advertising is the heart of the company, and it's what truly separates them from everybody else. Let me know in the comments any thoughts you have on Google or anything else mentioned in the video. I'd like to hear what you have to say. Thank you for watching.